There's Gigi. This is from Berkeley's class. Awesome. Can you hear my students here? Please come and say hi to me. Because I've never seen you before. I want to meet you in person. All right. Okay, here's this. All right. All right, are you? And then you gotta go, yeah, go back. Cool, you ready? Okay, all right, here we go. Hello everyone. So let's start from a very easy question. So how many of you here is afraid of needles? Majority. So right now, imagine that you have to inject yourself since age seven for a thousand times for three years. And that was what I have to do to my sister, Kathy. So at the age of seven, Kathy was having growth hormone deficiency and she had to constantly inject herself for three years. And that is a problem we're solving right now. We have seen new drug delivery has never changed in past 50 years, but new drug discovery have changing every single day. And that is a problem we're facing. And why it's important, we're solving the medication non-adherence, and that is due to three main points, low patient tolerance and also low accessibility, lack of monitoring. Low patient tolerance is because patients are afraid of needles. And low accessibility is that most of the injectable drugs, you have to go to hospital to do any injections, and the healthcare provider has to be there. But we are seeing a trend that telehealth is actually bringing hospital into patients' home. That means we are able to see the doctor in their home, but not for the medication delivery. Lack of monitoring. Most of the patients are missing daily dosage because they are constantly forgetting. So these are the problem we're solving. And how? We have created a tech solution that is already patented, a needle-free injector that is able to inject the medication without any needle and deliver into human body. And that is able to increase efficiency by five to 50 times according to our research. Also, with the app, we're able to increase adherence because we're doing real-time therapeutic monitoring. And the app will be the one platform to inject and also track the all injection data with treatment reminder, injection frequency, medication dosage, and also medication temperature. Because most of the self-injectable, like insulin or growth hormone, it's temperature sensitive. So we want to make sure that when people are injecting themselves, it's efficient and also it's safe for them. So let's see some exciting news, the traction we have got. So we have already filed two utility patents in both US and China, and we also signed three preclinical partner in Balex Stem Cell Innovation, Juvenile Therapeutics, which is a unicorn in the entire Silicon Valley. And we also got into MHUB Baxter Accelerator, who is helping us to do all of the manufacturing and prototype renovation. And NHSPR grant is providing us $30 million of grant is searching for new drug delivery, such as triple negative breast cancer, and also Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And our scheduled pilot run is in Mount Carmel Hospital, which we have just visited in Chicago area yesterday. So our go-to-market strategy is right now targeting rare disease, such as Duchenne muscular dystrophy, because that would put us in an accelerated track to get application of master file, and that will take around six months. And we are in talk with several partnerships like Kaiser Permanente and also risk-taking healthcare providers like PTC Therapeutics. So our business model is developing into three revenue. First, before the master application, is the B2B licensing and then B2B2C hardware sales. And because we are having the software function, we're able to subscri subscribe the service with our consumers. And also we're able to get re reimbursement from insurance company and it's every single year, $800 to $1,000 per user. And here's our financial projection. In five years, we're aiming towards 98 million total revenue. And the use of funds. So right now, we're raising th 3 million seed run. And in past two months, we have already raised 50% of soft commitments to achieve our massive fire clearance. And here's our team. We're ranging off board advisors and also fantastic talents from different industry and area, ranging from Medicare and also medical delivery, and also bioengineering in UC Berkeley department. Okay. All right. and, and that's, that's it. it. Great. <laughs> All right, judges.
three minutes ready? Do you have some? Yep. Okay, just, go for it. Just a quick comment. Uh, great presentation. It looks like you've got a lot of really great traction going on. The only comment I would have was on your slide at um, the use of funds. Um, can you go back to that real quick? Just sure. out of, you know, again, it's probably a general comment, but when a startup tells me they're going to use the money for product development, marketing, operations, it's kind of useless. I think every startup's going to use money for that. So I'd rather see you focus on what specific milestones are you going to achieve with whatever raise you might be doing at the moment. Great question. So here's our milestones we're trying to spend our money on. And here is... So we are going to do the safety test in order to achieve the MasterCard clearance. And that is the stage why we're raising this money. And as for a prototype, I actually have it with me. So we have already achieved a prototype that's able to inject the medication without the needle. And here is our version one prototype. And that's why we want to improve this prototype into a master file approval and also able to collect the data. And right now we are improving in our Chicago area manufacturer. Great answer. This may be a better slide than the use of funds uh, <laughs> description, but great answer and good presentation. Thank you. Okay, I know you're great at pitching because I heard you pitch a couple weeks ago from a car, so I am very impressed with that. But can you tell us what your biggest fear and risk is that you see? Because everything is aligned quite well, but tell us what that is. Right. So I would say the biggest risk in our company will be facing about how long we're going to get that master file. Because getting master file, that means when we can deliver this technology into patient's hand. And when we are doing 150 consumer research, every single one of them is asking us, when can we get this product? And when can I use this product to my children who need constant injection? They want this product, and they want this product desperately. So we want to get this to them as fast as possible. And that is, I think, our biggest challenge right now. So that is why we are targeting Duchenne muscular dystrophy. That rare disease track is getting us as fast as possible as a fast clearance in FDA approval. Can you talk a little bit about your technology? Now, I understand high level, but like, is it reusable? Is it disposable? Are there cartridge based? How yes. does that work? So let me use this as an example. So it is reusable and because we are having cartridge. So every two days, we're changing one cartridge. That means we're having a subscription revenue from the cartridge itself. But for the device itself, it is able to sustain for three years. So that means for three years of injection, people only need to buy one, but they need to constantly buy cartridge from us. And that is required by like sterilization and also safety of the patients. Thank you. All right, great job, Nova XS. All right. For voting, here we go. People's Choice, get your votes in, please. Judges, please score as well. And uh, Veriply is on deck if you guys want to start coming on up to the stage. 